In this video, we'll discuss question one, which goes as follows. Given is a positive feedback circuit, C figure one, which is the figure here below, where A is the gain of an amplifying element and beta is the transfer function of the feedback path. So L is defined as the multiplication of A and beta is the loop gain around the feedback loop of the circuit. The circuit will sustain steady state oscillations only at frequencies for which the modulus of L is larger than one. Uh, and it's asked of us to assess whether this is true or false. Now, to solve this question, it really helps to perform a small thought experiment. So let's say we actually do have some non-zero output here at this feedback network, which is called V out. That will pass through this network again, and it'll give us here a value of B, uh, beta V out. And that will then be fed back into the amplifier here with a gain of A, giving us A beta V out. But since we've defined that as L here above, we can just write it as L V out. And now the solution basically depends on the relation between L V out and V out, because if these two values are equal, then we can say that this uh, circuit can sustain oscillations. But because of the given information in the question, which is that the modulus of L is larger than one, we know that this actually has to be true, right? So, so the, the value that comes out of one iteration of this loop will actually always be larger than what we put in originally. And the next iteration will be even larger. So the consequence of that is that we will have an exponentially exploding output. So therefore we know that this circuit is not able to sustain steady state oscillations. In other words, the question has false as its correct answer. 